What's up everybody, my name is Jamie Thompson. I'm here at Guitar Center with Alan and Heath's new Zone PX5 DJ Mixer. So the PX5 is Alan and Heath's first performance-focused DJ Mixer that adds built-in effects. This also has a 20-channel USB audio interface. That's 24-bit, 96K. Uh, so this is a four plus one channel mixer. Uh, so what I wanna do is I just wanna break this down and just kinda go from top to bottom here, and we'll just go over some of the features. So at the very top here, we do have our effects send, so we can send this to our internal effects engine, or we can set this in external mode, so we can use an external effects module, uh, or we can go to dual. So what this will do is on a single effects send, we can send this to our internal engine and combine that with uh, an external unit. Uh, so you can really combine your effects in this way. We then go down to our uh, input here, we've got phono, USB, or line inputs on all four channels. And then on our aux channel, we have our mic input, USB, or line. Um, so on our aux channel, we actually have an XLR, uh, dual quarter inch input, or we can pull USB from our laptop here. Then we get into our gain stage, and then our three band total kill EQ. So just play a little bit here and listen to that. Then we get it down into our filter section. So this will, uh, basically we can send any one of these channels to our VCF filter. Um, one of the legendary filters from Zone here. And our filter will go over to this section here. Now we can have our uh, high pass, band pass, or low pass filter enabled. Um, and that's on and off here. <laughs> So I was going over our high pass, our band pass, and our low pass. Um, but we also have a resonance knob here, too. So this can be set between mild all the way to the left, or we can go all the way up to wild. So if you really want to pull the resonance out of your filter, uh, just crank that up to wild and we can, we can hear that. So from the filter section, I want to go over through the effects up top. Uh, so this is Alan and Heath's brand new Excite effects engine that they built into the PX5. So the PX5 was designed from the, designed from the ground up here. Um, and this is one of the fresh things they put into it. So our effects section, we can set this up to be pre-fader or post-fader. Uh, we also have our effects assigned. So we can assign this to our auxiliary channel. Channels one through four, our master, or our send. So I'm gonna leave it as our send here. Then we have our crossfade section here, so we can set our sends from effects to our crossfader. Then we have our effects select. So all we have to do is click this in, and we can go through our different effects. So we've got delays, filter delay, delay and reverb, mod delay, tape echo, clean plate, swell, reverb, concert hall, tiled room, attack gate, reso gate, flanger, pitch verb, time warp, distortion. Then it gets down to the uh, section here where we have our uh, tap tempo. So we can tap out our tempo, or if you hold this down, it will analyze your tempo for you and show you here on the screen. Um, so right now we've got this set up automatically at our 137.9 BPM here. And then you can change the beat with the buttons here. So let's uh, take a listen to this delay here. MB 20 double bins up front, cause a frenzy. Automatic when we splatter down the team. In the 2020 double double bins up front. Automatic when we splatter down the MB. Now, with the delay, we have our interval, so we can change the interval by milliseconds here. Um, we have our decay time, focus, 
and our effects level. Now what focus is going to do is it's going to focus on certain frequencies in that delay. So if I only want to delay out the higher frequencies, I can turn this up. Or if I want to delay the lower frequencies, I can bring this down or we can center it to bypass. So let's just take a listen to what that sounds like here. Double bins up front, cause a frenzy. Automatic when we splatter down a teeth. In the 2020 double double bins up front. Automatic when we splatter down a MD. 20 double bins up front, cause a frenzy. Automatic when we splatter down Now, the last thing I want to talk about here is we have our auxiliary channel. Now, our auxiliary channel um, has a lot going for it. Basically, anything you do on the first four channels, you can do on your auxiliary channel. Um, it just does not have your fader. So with the integration with uh, Ableton and Traktor with their new link that just came out, uh, we can set our entire Ableton rig up on our aux channel and still have four channels to, to DJ from from Traktor. So I just want to take a look at the back side here. So we've got our aux channel. We have XLR input, so your microphone input. We also have stereo quarter inch in. Uh, this can be used to run external sound modules or synthesizers into your aux channel if you need to. We also have our line and phono inputs on channels 1, 2, 3, and 4. Uh, these can also all have a uh, USB input too. Then we have our XLR outputs, RCA outputs, quarter inch insert, and a quarter inch booth output. Then we get into our X-Link. Now what X-Link allows us to link in our K2 controllers, so we can do multiple K2 controllers into your PX5. Um, and run everything USB into your laptop using just one USB port. Then we have our USB out and our MIDI sync output. Now the MIDI sync output is, uh, allows us to sync up external sound modules or drum machines so we can use your PX5 as the master for all your external gear. And then you can of course run those into the quarter inch aux input on your fifth channel here. Then we have our quarter inch effects send external return, RCA record output, and um, everything running I IEC standard power cable. Now on the bottom of the mixer, we do have our channel fader uh, select, so we can set the curve of your channel faders. We also have the cross fader, so we can put it into uh, scratch mode, or something a little more smooth. And then on the side here, we have our headphone output, which is both eighth inch and quarter inch outputs, and a Q mix here. Thanks for taking a look at Alan and Heath's new PX5. Go check it out at your local Guitar Center or go online at guitarcenter.com.